Hey guys, what's up? It's Mons here and welcome back to another video. So back in 2016, I uploaded a video on how you can make channel art for free without having to pay for expensive programs like Photoshop and things like that. Overall, that video did pretty well, but it didn't reach nearly as many people as I thought it would. So as it's been three years and my channel has grown a ton since then, I thought it'd be a good idea to actually make an updated version of that video. Anyways guys, if this video does not help you guys out and you guys want to see more videos like it, then please do hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I make tons of videos on how you can grow your channel and other tutorials that a lot of YouTubers find very useful. So if that interests you, then definitely check out my channel. But other than that, let's get on with the video. So one thing I do want to mention straight off the bat is that if you do want to use a custom font for your banner, then you can, but it isn't required. So if you do want to use one though, then all you have to do is just download it before before you actually get started with the tutorial later on in the video. And to do that, all you have to do is head over to dafont.com, I should have linked on the screen and in the description below, and from there you can just download whatever font you want to use. And the cool thing about this site is that there's a ton of filters that you can apply if you want to find something that matches your preference. And also guys, I'm really curious, comment below what font you guys ended up choosing for your banner. I'm really curious and I want to read all the different ones you guys chose. I usually read all the new comments on most of my newer videos, so definitely do that. But anyways, um, you can scroll through and see if you find a font that you like, but first I'm going to go ahead and apply a filter. Um, I usually end up liking the cartoon font the most because they look really bubbly and like appealing in general. So one thing you can do is just go ahead and scroll through until you find a font that you genuinely like and uh, or you can just go through and like skip through these pages. There are 95 pages so I'm just gonna skip to like five or something. See if there's anything cool here and when you do find a font you like, like I like this one right here, it's called Super Fats. You can click on it and one cool thing about this website is you can type in whatever text you want and it's gonna show you a custom preview of that text using this font. So if I hit submit right here, using my name, it shows me what my name is going to look like using the font that I'm about to download. So if you like it, all you have to do is go ahead and hit the download button right here. From there, it's going to ask you where you want to save it, or it might just automatically download to your downloads folder. I'm going to save it to my desktop, and then from there, I'm going to go minimize Chrome, and you should see it on your desktop wherever you saved it to. So from here, you guys can right click it and hit open, or you can extract it to a folder, whatever really works best for your computer. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit open right here. Um, if you do use WinRAR, you might get random pop-ups, but I'm just going to close out of that because obviously I don't need it. So anyways, your font might come with a bunch of different versions like mine did. So I have the normal one and I also have the italic version. So I'm just going to go ahead and install the normal one and you can tell because it just says italic in the title. So all you have to do to install is just double click on the font file. Click install and then when it's done installing the install button should fade away and not let you click it anymore. So that means that we have installed the font so I can close out of this. If you guys do want to install the other ones then feel free to do so but I'm not going to do that so I can save time in the video. From there close out of that and we should be good to go. So now the one thing I want you guys to do now that we have the font installed is that you want to close your web browser and then open it back up again so that your web browser can actually recognize that a new font was installed in your computer. So in case you do have to close out of my video to actually do that then go ahead and do that and then search for my name again on YouTube and then you should find this video. From there we can continue on once you're ready. Anyways when you're back on your browser, I want you guys to go to Google and then from there do a YouTube search for YouTube channel art template. From there, just go ahead and hit the images button right here, and really all these serve the same job, but I think the one that looks the best is the second one right here that has the YouTube logo on it. So I'm going to have a direct link to this in the description, but what you guys want to do from here is just go ahead and right click it and then hit save image as. Save it to your desktop or it might just automatically download to your downloads folder, but if you can rename it to something else, then I highly recommend doing that, so I'm going to name it to channel template. From there, hit save, and you should see that it got saved to your desktop. Anyways, once you've done that, let's head over to pixlr.com, and I will have this link both on the screen and in the description below, and once we're here, we can finally start working on our channel banner. So what we want to do is look for the Pixlr editor and right now it's still on the homepage But in case they ever do change it in the future then just go ahead and look for the web app button right here Once you've done that scroll down until you find the Pixlr editor and then hit launch web app So there's a pretty good chance that some of you guys might see a page that's very similar to the one that I'm showing you guys right now And if you do see this then all you have to do is either hit continue with Pixlr editor Or you can go ahead and enable flash by clicking here then click allow and then it'll be good to go Anyways once you're here all you have to do is go ahead and hit open image from computer Once you click that it's going to ask you what image you actually want to open So what we're going to do is look for the channel template image that we just saved off Google from there hit open and we should be good to go and just to make sure that it's all correct and working properly all you have to do is go to image go to image size and make sure that the width and height is 2560 and then 1440 from there hit okay and as you can see it per perfectly matches with the tv dimensions that we have right here on the top left corner also i'm sure a lot of you guys are watching me on like a laptop or something that has a smaller screen and you guys want to know how you can zoom in and out of like this little template thing that we have open right here and all i have to do to do that is just scroll up or down and it's going to zoom you out or in and that's literally all you have to do and it's super helpful like later on in the future when you're like working with different layers and things like that so i'm just going to quickly zoom back into the screen and uh, i'm sure like the first thing you guys are thinking is like maz what the heck am i looking at right now so let me quickly explain this like youtube channel template for you guys and i think you guys should be at ease when i'm done with that so because most screens are different sizes such as like your phone 
phone or your computer screen. Maybe you have like an iPad or like a Amazon Kindle or Fire or whatever they call them. Like obviously if you're looking at a YouTube channel on your phone, then the channel banner is going to be smaller than it would be if you're looking at it on like your laptop or like your computer and things like that. So essentially this main white area right here is what you call a safe area. And why I say that is because everything that you put in this area will be able to be seen no matter how big the screen is that's looking at it. So because of that, that's the best place that you would want to put like your logo or like your text or sponsors, social media and things like that. So the first thing that I actually want you to do is go to the text tool right here and then from there just click anywhere in like the middle of our channel template. So I can click it and it's going to ask me what I want to type in for my text. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just go ahead and type in my name because obviously this is a ba channel banner for my channel. I'm not going to be using it but you know hypothetically speaking. But anyways once you have typed in whatever name you want to do for your channel banner what you want to do is look for the font that you just downloaded. So I believe mine was called like super fast or something like that so I'm going to quickly look for that. So basically just scroll down until you find like your font essentially or use this little like scroll bar. So there's mine right there. I'm going to click it and then from there you can make your text size bigger so I'm going to make it like I think 136 might be good something like that. I don't know this should this should be good because you want to remember you don't want to make it too big otherwise then it won't be able to fit in this main like white area you know what I mean so I'm gonna keep this style regular I don't really care too much about the alignment um for the color I am gonna change it to white and you guys are gonna be like Maz why are you changing it to white you can't even see it anymore and trust me I'm about to show you guys something really cool so hit okay hit okay and then from there what we want to do is go to the right over here and then go to layer styles and once you've done that what we want to do is go to outer glow and as you can see my text kind of does show up a bit more now I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna make my outer glow black and then I'm gonna go ahead and raise the hardness up a bit maybe even the size and I think that looks really cool and bubbly and just like super fun in general so I'm gonna click OK from here and if you do want to move your text obviously we don't want to have it on the bottom right it just probably wouldn't look that good so what we're gonna do is go to the move tool right here from there just go ahead click on your layer and you can just drag it around wherever you want to drag it and also don't worry about having this text in the background or this text right here I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get rid of that later on in the video um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it like this or if I'm gonna move my text right here and then maybe put like some social medias or something right here on the side um, but let's just go ahead and throw this right here for now just because it does actually look kind of cool but uh, let's move on to the next step. Also, one thing I do want to quickly mention is that sometimes the edge of your text does get cut off. And if that ever does happen to you, I'm going to quickly show you guys a fix of that. So all you have to do, go to the type tool, click on your text again. It will let you edit it. And then just hit like a random blank space at the end. And obviously, like we can see it, but the viewer is not going to be able to see that there's a random blank space at the end. From there, when we hit OK, it's going to look normal to us, but the edge of the text probably is not going to be cut off anymore. So hopefully that does fix any issues that some of you guys might have. But now we can finally move on to the next step. So um, I think the best thing to add right now would probably be social media because I think that's a really important part of every channel banner. Like, of course, you want your viewers to know where else they can find you on the Internet. Like, obviously, they watch your YouTube videos, but maybe you have like an Instagram or a Twitter or whatever it might be. You probably want to promote it so they can follow you on there and keep up to date with what you're doing. So to do that, all we have to do is go ahead and open up a new tab and go to google.com. Go ahead and do a quick little Google search for Twitter logo PNG. Once you've done that, go ahead and hit the images button right here. And what we want to do is look for a PNG version of the Twitter logo. And you want a PNG because then it will be transparent off the bat, which means we won't have to worry about trying to delete the background image or anything like that. So as you can see, there's a bunch of like little checkers right here in the back. And that means that this logo is transparent. And when we do save it, all we're going to get is going to be the Twitter logo. But let me see if I can find one that's not transparent. So, okay. So this right here, like this is not transparent. Um, as you can see, like the background is white and that means that we would have to do extra steps to get rid of the back, the white background and things like that, just so we could have only the logo. But when you have a transparent logo, then all you get is the logo. You don't have to worry about trying to get rid of the background or anything like that. So right click it, save image as, and I'm going to save it as Twitter logo. From there, hit save and go back to the Pixlr tab right here. Go to layer, hit open image as layer, and then from there we're going to look for the Twitter logo that we just saved. From there hit open, and as you can see it does show up on the screen right here. And obviously the first thing you're going to notice is that it's way too big to actually use in a channel banner. So to fix that, go to edit, go to free transform, and you're going to see like a little rectangle appear around the Twitter logo. So from there hold shift on your keyboard and then just drag it inward until it gets smaller and fits the size that you actually like. And the reason why we want to hold shift while we're dragging this like in and out is because it's going to keep the proportions of the Twitter logo without having to like change the shape of it too much. So in case you use like Instagram and a bunch of other social medias then feel free to download their logo from there just go ahead and feel free to make the banner however you guys want to make it but i'm just going to be using my twitter logo because i personally don't use instagram a whole lot i mainly use twitter somehow my instagram has 1200 followers and i've never posted a picture but it is what it is if you guys do want to follow my instagram then feel free to do so but anyway let me scroll this down i'm sure one day i will post a picture and hopefully it gets a decent amount of likes but anyway one thing i do want to tell you guys right away is that when you are done like transforming like your logo then all you have to do is just click out of it and it is going to ask you if you guys want to apply the changes so go ahead and hit yes from there you should be good to go and originally what I was going to do is I was going to put the Twitter logo like right here and I was going to put the Moz text um, like somewhere over here. But I thought that it would look better if I put the Moz text right here 
then I'll put the Twitter logo down here, and then maybe put like my Twitter handle or something right here, and then it would just look way cleaner. And that's gonna look better for me because I'm only using like one social media, but in case you're using like Twitter and Instagram, then maybe you would put like your Twitter logo um, like on this side or something right here, then put like your Twitter username, then have the text in the middle, maybe put it a bit smaller, and then put like your Instagram logo right here, then your Instagram username. That would probably look better if you're using like two things, but like I said before, I'm only using, I'm only using Twitter, so I'm gonna put this right here. And uh, let's go ahead and change the like color of the Twitter logo because obviously it just doesn't match with the rest of the template right now. So what you wanna do to fix that is go here, right click, go to layer styles, go to inner glow, and then from there, all you have to do is just change the color to whatever color you wanna change the overall thing to. So I'm gonna change it to white because then it's gonna match with like the text that I have right here. From there, click OK. And what you want to do right away is just up the hardness and up the size. And obviously, like, we can't see the Twitter logo anymore. So to fix that, all you have to do is go to Outer Glow, like we did with the text right here. Change the Outer Glow color to black. From there, we're going to up the hardness a bit and probably even the size. Uh, let's leave the size a bit smaller, but... I say this looks pretty good and obviously we can see the Twitter logo a bit better than we could before. Click OK and we can move it around to make sure that it does match whatever we want it to like kind of be like if that makes sense or match our personal preference is essentially what I'm trying to say. And obviously you guys don't have to copy my channel template or channel banner like word for word or image for image and all that good stuff like find wherever you like the best. Um, I think the Twitter logo is going to look pretty cool down here and what I'm going to do right now is go to the type tool, click right here and I'm going to add my Twitter username so it's at MWS. If you guys do want to follow me then feel free to do so. I'm going to change the font color to white like I did before click OK click OK again and then right here go to gonna right click it go to uh, layer styles go to outer glow I'm gonna make it black like we did with the text originally and I'm gonna r raise the hardness just a bit so that we can see the text a bit more and as you can see it's kind of like starting to come together so I'm gonna click OK right here and now what we're gonna do is just go ahead and make sure that the text kind of like matches up and lines up with the Twitter logo pretty well uh, we do want to center it though so I'm gonna quickly just click through these layers and make sure that I am centering it perfectly and obviously like I'm not a graphic designer by any means so this isn't like an insanely awesome channel banner um, but I'm just doing my best you know trying to get like the general idea out there for you guys and then from there you guys can do whatever you want now I personally pay graphic designers to make me channel banners but I know when I started out I always made my channel banners myself and I thought I would make this video for those of you guys who just can't maybe afford a designer maybe can't afford like Photoshop and expensive programs because honestly if you teach yourself how to do most of the things then you can do a lot with Pixlr so go ahead and play around with like the move tool a bit see whatever works best for you now I think I have too much space like right here so I'm gonna move this move, go ahead and move this text a bit more to the left then I'm gonna go ahead and move the Twitter like username a bit more to the left and then go ahead and move the Twitter logo to the left too and now one thing that we're missing from this channel banner is like an actual nice background so to do that all I have to do is click on this little new layer button right here next to the trash can once you do that drag this new layer down so that it's on top of the background but it's not like on top of like the text and all that good stuff from there what we want to do is go to the the drawing tool right here make sure that your color is black and then from there go ahead and make a rectangle that lines up perfectly with the edges of uh the channel banner so it goes all the way across black but it's cutting off all this extra space that we obviously just did not need to begin with all right so now obviously we have like the main stuff we have the text we have the logo we have the twitter handle and what we want to do now is get rid of the background that has like this white and gray shade to it what i'm going to be doing personally is i'm going to go up here and search for galaxy wallpaper 2560 x 14 40. And the reason why we do these numbers is because that's the exact dimensions of this overall canvas that we have right here. So obviously you don't have to do a galaxy wallpaper if you don't want to. That's what I want to do, but it, let's say you want to do like a, I don't know, like a baseball wallpaper or something, I don't know. Anyway, like if you like one of these baseball wallpapers, then you can use one of these too. Obviously like this image does not look good for some reason, but you can click through, find one you like, and go ahead and save it if you want to, but I'm going to look for like a galaxy one or something that I personally like. And so go ahead and do that, pause the video, find a wallpaper you like, and then I'm going to show you guys what to do once you're done. All right, um, I'm not even gonna bother like searching through too much because I just found one that I really like So go ahead click it let it load up and let it get to like the full resolution From there right click it hit save image as go ahead save it to your desktop name it whatever you want to name it It really doesn't matter from there go back to Pixlr, go to image I believe no sorry layer go to layer open image as layer and then from there go and click on the file that you just saved from the internet so I'm gonna click it open it and as you can see it does show up and uh, honestly this looks pretty cool but anyway what we want to do is we want to drag the layer that we just downloaded right below the layer that has the black rectangles on it and now as you can see this is what our channel banner is looking like and obviously it doesn't look insanely awesome so one cool thing that you can do is you can add like um like saturation and like different hue effects and things like that to the layer that you actually just downloaded so all you have to do to do that is go to the adjustment tab right here make sure that you are selected on the background picture that you just downloaded then there hit hue and saturation and you can just kind of like drag this around see what you think looks really good on your channel banner honestly this looks pretty cool let's see what happens if i bump the saturation it kind of makes it a bit more vibrant um you can even like play with the lightness a bit see whatever looks cooler 
This looks really sick, actually. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, overall, I thought this channel of banner looked awful when I was first starting out, but it doesn't look too bad right now, guys. So this is why I like, personally like Galaxy Wallpapers, is because they usually have a lot more colors in them that you can play around with. But if you want to do like a golf wallpaper or like a, I don't know, like a sky wallpaper, or even like a grunge wallpaper, those are usually pretty cool too. I can look up like red grunge or something, hit enter. And as you can see, like these are some pretty cool wallpapers as well. Like obviously take some time, find a wallpaper you like, go ahead, save it, add it into here, and then just play around with it until you find something that looks really nice. I feel like I've gotten like the main parts of a channel banner done. I got the main part of your channel, which is your name then i also have some social media if you're sponsored by any companies then feel free to look up their like actual logo so in case you're sponsored by someone like g fuel all i have to do is just look up g fuel um logo png look that up you can click through and find one that's transparent now obviously this one isn't but this one might be or this one might be yeah this one's transparent so all you have to do right click save it then go ahead go to image add all that good stuff and you can just drag it in here and just play with it until it works to whatever you want for your channel banner now obviously guys i know i'm not a good graphic designer i said this multiple times i make my own thumbnails but that's it i don't make my motion designs the thing that, that you see on the screen right now that tells you to like the video i don't make any of this stuff i usually pay my friends to make it because that's what they're good at now obviously i'm not good at graphic design but when you're ready is go to file go ahead go to save from there make sure that it is saved as a jpeg save it at the highest quality that you can it's gonna go ahead and say working from there hit ok go ahead save it to whatever you want i'm gonna name it channel template i don't really care if it over uh over saves the other one from there what we're gonna do is go to our youtube channel go to youtube.com slash moz if you guys do want to subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video um anyway from there all you have to do is hit customize channel and then from, once you've done that, I believe it's going to let you... Actually, I don't even think you had to do that. You could just click the little camera button right here or the little pencil button. From there, hit edit channel art. Once you've done that, hit select photo from your computer. I'm going to go ahead, select the channel template that we just did. Hit open. And as you can see, it will open up perfectly. And it is going to allow you to actually make it your channel banner. Now, I'm personally not going to do it because my channel banner looks way cooler than this right now. But obviously, like you guys should play around with this more and find something that works well for you. Once you've done that, you should be good to go and be able to save it to your channel. Um, I'm not going to do that again, but once you do hit select, it's going to automatically update on your channel. And that's really it for the video, guys. So hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Now, I can't stress this enough. I'm not a graphic designer, but I did my best to help you guys out who, who are new to the channel. Um, as you can see right here, I make a lot of videos on how you can upgrade your channel quality, how you can get better microphone quality, how you can record your screen, just a lot of tutorials that can help out a lot of aspiring creators on YouTube. And this was another one of those videos, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Sorry for my awful graphic design skills, this video took me a really long time to make, so hope you guys did enjoy it. <laughs> I know you guys probably think like, how did it take you that long to make such a bad banner, but I don't know. Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe if you're new to the channel. All the good stuff, we're on our way to 200,000 subscribers, so all help is appreciated. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.